The guest link. Yeah, put me on that one. It's full. Yeah, my girl, my baby. Oh, look, she in the bathroom. Oh, look, wait right here. No, nigga, grab your hoes. <laughs> like, man, let go of me, man. The fuck, bro? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't lean yet. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm finna call my brother. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. So you can put him on the link. He been fucking with you. He been, he been hey. fucking with you. Y'all was at the trap when he was just yelled. When y'all did that, look. Most definitely. Bro, tell him you fuck with him so he can put you in the link. <laughs> like, bro, what? We go through too much, bro. Buy the ticket like the white folk and sit out. <laughs> I want to do white people got to go through this shit. Yeah. Soon as they post that shit, that shit sold out. The next day, ain't nobody asking no link. They don't want no link. No they don't want nothing. They there. They they there early. I was talking about it early where the nigga really got to start the show on time. Show started at nine. They pulling up at six o'clock. Six o'clock. They out there tailgating. It party. Nigga, I be pulling up. Nigga, nigga pulling up while I'm pulling up. Why? I'm going to walk in with you. I'm going to walk in with you. You got that link. <laughs> I still ain't bought my ticket yet. This nigga walking to buy the ticket at the arena. You late. We just said this shit sold out. Where the hell you going to sit? Nigga, in day, every day, bro. Every day. They don't know this shit is stressful, bro. Nigga call you one hour before the show. Hey, bro, we out here. What you mean? It's us. Oh, I got my mama with me. Why you brought her ass? You be trying to look out and be like, how many you need? 10, 11, 12. <laughs> I need 15, bro. Me plus 15. <laughs> What's your real name? Man, I can't. Man, put that shit under my girl <laughs> name, bro. <laughs> What's her name? Nigga, still on the run, man. Nigga, won't tell you what name. Man. Then text you back. Put him under, put him under, put him under Sharitha. <laughs> That's H S S A E R R E T A. Put him under Sharitha. Let's go to the website, man. Buy the ticket so you can know your shit confirmed and you ain't got to guess if you gonna go. You ain't got to guess where you gonna sit. Your ticket going to tell your stupid ass what you bought, where you going to sit at, what time to be there. Don't ask us shit, man. We fucking coming. If the show start at 8, your bitch ass need to be cranking your car real good solid time because I know niggas about a 645. Oh, you better than me. I was going to tell them they need to be parking at 630. No, nah, because I know how black people be irritable when they sit. <laughs> you know, when niggas be in there already been 20 minutes go by, they like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga don't need know what to do. He like, man, we're in the goddamn show, oh, God, man. I'm like, man, you, you just got in here. Sit down. Enjoy the state of that. Oh, it's some shit finna go on. Oh, black like some people niggas know. done sold this shit If you shit tell out. them the show started at 8, they don't even leave the house at 8.30. Thinking we, I don't know how they expect. What they think, you, you, you gonna miss it. Ain't nobody on the show but us. It's us. I don't think that we ain't no features. <laughs> ain't no surprise guests. I don't know who you think gonna happen. Ain't nobody up there playing spades. <laughs> When that bitch say 8 o'clock, 8.15, man, I black ass on that stage, man. Bruh. Can't come in back there. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Man, come on, bruh. It's 8.08. It's 8.08. Well, <laughs> we ain't bullshitting. You know what time we going to be there? At 7.30. Knowing that we got a show at 8 o'clock. So can y'all please get there on time? I'm going to be there earlier than that because I don't like sitting in that traffic. That shit make my... Uh... Anxiety go up. For real, you don't like that shit? I hate that shit. That's the worst part about doing this shit for me. Facts. It's getting to the fucking venue. Hey, you got to come around the back. Uh-huh. Then... Security guy don't even know where to go. Before you even get to where you're supposed to be, you got to stop and talk to Miss <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> now, she like to play, but uh -huh. I know you ain't in the mood to play. Uh-huh. She going to act like she don't know who you is. <laughs> she going to let you through there. Then come around and you're gonna be looking for Mr. Walt. Right. It's gonna be a great truck <laughs> and a hot dog stand right there. Uh -huh. That ain't where you're supposed to be. That ain't where you're supposed to be. If you see the hot dog stand, <laughs> you're on the wrong side. I tell you what, call me. I'm finna come outside. Now I gotta get your number. Uh, I'm finna come outside. Hold on. Wait a minute. This Carlo. <laughs> no, Carlos on the phone. <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on. 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 I'm finna drop the location. Hold on, hold on. Where you hold, at? Hold on. Did you get it? 
Then you ask a nigga don't even know where to go. Hey, what, what the talent at? Uh, you on the show? Uh, it, me, me. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't even know. This my first day. Bro, you ain't gonna be paid until forty five days later. Nigga, this is net pay. Bro. What you mean it's your first day? You ain't on the clock. You a volunteer. That's the worst shit. I will drive from here to New Mexico, but I need a motherfucker to drive me to that fucking show. What? As soon as I get in the car, I be like, man. Exactly. Shit right here. Exactly. I be feeling like I got a shit. But see, I can't see. I be more nervous to drive to get to the talent interest than the fucking show. Real. Cause soon I be like, bro, I don't feel like dealing with this shit. But they gotta know though. That's why they gotta have a a a flyer with our name on it. So when we get there, what's your name? Man, look at the picture. I see the picture, but what's your name? Bitch, I look like the picture. (laughs) It's me, nigga. I'm the only motherfucker who ain't. I'm trying to imitate the picture. Bro, I'm going to tell you how I know it ain't just me, though. I'm going to tell you how I know it ain't just me. Duval fly in and go straight to the shit. It be 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He go when they do the setup on the stage. He just be back there chilling. Right. Oh, he stay in there. Yeah, because he going to fly home after the show. He just fly in, go straight to the shit, and be there. He be there. I'm like, man. That rich nigga said Man. It seemed like I be I trying to leave early family. and get to that shit, and then it's like, bro, if you don't leave in that bitch, the show start at eight. If you don't be done left by like seven, you ain't getting in that bitch about nine. Facts. When we, did the, when we did the LA shit, ooh, we. I mean, I'm talking about as soon as I got in that motherfucker, I mean, Mike finna bring you up. I'm like, bro, you don't even know what the fuck I had to do. I had to wait in traffic, <laughs> get in this side, uh-huh. just for them to tell me I got to go all the way across the other side, wait in that traffic. Yes, sir. Then I didn't never even get to the talent entrance. Nigga, I parked where the little mean ladies be parking at. Nigga, I walked through You know them you. little, them little round you. ones? Yeah. The ones who always act like, uh-uh, y'all, <laughs> wait a minute, uh-huh. hold on. Uh-huh. <laughs> John, where they, where they, where they, uh, where they, where they, where they, where they supposed to go? I heard a name. That DC, uh-huh, he flying somewhere. Hello. Uh, young man, this what, uh-uh, uh, hold on, uh-uh. hold on, she, hold on. She dead serious, she get hear me, uh-uh. You like, man, you will really get, I don't want to push you. Listen, Move. Li- listen, listen, this what you need to do. You need to go I'm down, to my you got to go down there, you going to see two, it's too, uh, it's gonna be, uh... She got in my way. She said, ah, ah, and I look at that. I don't want to punch you. <laughs> but they about to call my fucking name. You <laughs> well, Somebody come get their grandma, please, man. That be the shit that please, really bro. They irks my fucking there, nerves. Bro. That irks the fuck out of me. That's what we have to go through, bro. That's why some places when we go and I see people like, like you recognize their face, I be like, wow, I remember you in last time. Like, thank you. They really be acting like, God damn it, y'all ain't get the memo. They ain't, you ain't get no email on who supposed to be in this bitch. Yeah. You just knew you were coming to work for the city, for, for the arena. Sometimes you would, I'd be, I'd be back there and I'd be looking at some of the people who be backstage. You'd be like, you ever have a motherfucker who be backstage? You'd be like, man, I'm so glad I ain't gonna be around this motherfucker anymore. <laughs> you could be in New York. You'd be like, man, this motherfucker getting on my nerves. <laughs> but then you'd be like, I'm so glad we flying to goddamn L.A. tomorrow. <laughs> it's real, man. Man, you fly to goddamn L.A., guess who there? <laughs> Nigga, when y'all get here? <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me you done flew coast to coast to fucking bother us, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> ah! you, you, you work both places? I can't do it, bro. Bro, people just, they don't be... They don't take into consideration that, nigga, we here for probably four more hours. Why in the fuck did you bring me 50 turkey wings, nigga? <laughs> 50 big ass wings, my nigga. <laughs> fuck I'm supposed to do with eight pounds of barbecue sauce, my nigga. <laughs> at 12 o'clock at night. And then talk about take it with you. Man, I'm a king. <laughs> Where are you going? Once they run this shit through the x-ray, can't nobody eat this shit no more. <laughs> it's a wrap, my boy. <laughs> boy, you stupid, boy. Like, damn, nigga, be considerate. They don't, bro. They just want to say Why they fed the fuck you. did you bring me a whole wedding cake, my nigga? Because they want to say I a gave it to you. A wedding cake. You know, I'm the one that gave color <laughs> their wedding cake. 
And I'm the one that gave him 50 pounds of the turkey leg. I feed him every time he come. <laughs> no, you don't. You fed me one time. Too much. Man, motherfuckers <laughs> just don't be considering that shit. And he had the dough telling him he your chef. I'm Carlos Shell. <laughs> I got 50 pounds of turkey with <laughs> Look, look at that bitch. Look at that bitch. That boy love my turkey wing. That boy love my turkey wing. I got bit of my turkey wing. <laughs> 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 that boy love my turkey wing. <laughs> that boy love my turkey wing. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> Boy, you ain't never had them turkey away. Boy, they be lying, bro. They don't mean understand what we have to go through, and we got to lie with them just so we can kill the commotion. Yeah, I, I done had the turkey away. I ain't never had them turkey away. I ain't never had them turkey You brought me 75 of them. You brought me so many. I ain't I even got, I, I got to eat it. The button up and the power. I got to eat one off. Damn, he did the most for these turkey wings. Boy. Boy, you stupid, boy. These motherfuckers be wanting you to eat. They, they, uh, uh, hey, oh. bro, hey, hey. I saw what they got you to eat. Don't eat right. that. Guess what I got in the car? That's funny. They hot, <laughs> nigga, they cooking in the car right now. <laughs> you got the shit cooking in the car? It's cooking. I'm finna bring some of them turkey wings. I know, hey. That, that hey. my love, my turkey <laughs> Every time he hit the city, he be wanting my turkey wing, bro. He didn't call me. He oh, didn't hit me on Instagram. But I knew he wanted them damn turkey wings. No. Oh. Nigga, man, these be whole big-ass turkey wings. Nigga, you can't... You a grown-ass man and you can't eat one turkey wing by yourself. Oh, what the fuck you gonna do with 50 of them bitches? First of all, how many birds you killed? <laughs> you that told how this shit... You cooked this shit for two weeks? 50 pounds of turkey wing? Hey, man. But niggas be doing the most, but that's funny. Motherfucker do be doing the most. Hey, Lose, I brought you a t-shirt. It's an extra large. Nigga, when, when the fuck you ever seen me with an extra large t-shirt on? And want you to hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> hold it up now. That's that, man. This motherfucker ain't even my size. Man. I ain't even in the picture. I ain't come on, B. But you dub it fuck. Well, nigga be having them clothing lines, bro. They be having them. They be having them. <laughs> and be wanting you to take all the clothes. You like, bro? I thought you was a, a, a lord. You look big on TV. <laughs> they don't never have my side. I can't never wear none of y'all shit. I am a small. Listen, toned up. Anything after that, I can't fit it, bro. I don't give a fuck. Stop bringing me extra larges and larges. I can't wear. Well, you can you put be, on the medium. No, I'm not forcing it to put be on the medium. Flagrant shit too, man. It be nigga hand you a t-shirt. That shit just say D I C K on it. What the fuck does D I C K stand for? Oh, that's diverse, intense colored kids. <laughs> I wear no shirt that say dick, my nigga. <laughs> no, it's it's my brand. No, I, I understand all that, my boy. But what that shit stand for, bro? Uh, diverse, <laughs> inclusive, colored kids. <laughs> you know, to get a kid something to look forward to. Some dick, nigga. <laughs> no, then he done put dick on the legs. I got, the, I, got the, <laughs> I got the top and the bottom for you. <laughs> dick, my nigga. Well, that's hilarious, bro. Oh, I got a hat, too. You be a dickhead. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Hey, man, stop. Stop, bro. Bro, that nigga stupid, bro. Stop. Bro, that nigga dumb as fuck, bro. They all understand. We go through all that stupid ass nigga shit. Nigga act like he done brought you some shit, then sell it to you at the end. Bro, I got a jacket for you, hard in the motherfucker. I'm telling you. How much is it? 1900 Oh. <laughs> okay, man. I thought you were going to get it to me. Here you go, my boy. Shit. I told plenty of niggas I thought they were going to get Man, I thought you were going to give me this shit. We could have killed that long ass coach. I would have been bought it. You could have got the fuck on, man. Move. You sold it to me. You gave it to me. You told me I got something for you. I don't know you. Why would you bring something to me not knowing that I knew you wasn't going to come to me with it? Hey, man. That's how it be. Keep that shit. <laughs> keep that cake. Keep them turkey lid. We don't want none of that shit. That boy love my turkey wing. I'm going to be lying. <laughs> hey, but I heard you, you eat turkey lid. That boy love my turkey leg.
50 pounds, bro. 50 pounds in a motherfucker. 50 pounds. Now, I don't get mad when people overwhelm me with the weed. Niggas just be like, hey, I brought something for you. <laughs> Man, you, you walked in here with this guy? Like, nigga, this four ounces. <laughs> I can't just be trapped in this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's my problem. Yeah, like, you... Anytime a nigga bring the weed around, I think I'm supposed to get all of it. I, have, I be leaving that shit. <laughs> How much you want? How much did you bring? I want to make sure that when you leave, I have more weed than you do, man. <laughs> Even though you the weed man. I, I want all of it. I can't take it all, my boy. Take something there. I take it self. Smoke this shit. You feel me? But I can't take it I just be out. trying to get the shit off the streets. I don't want it to fall into the wrong hand. <laughs> Give me this shit. You out here taking me. How much was you going to make off this weed, young man? Uh, uh, now find you something else to do. Now give me all of it. I done saved you two months of holding this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know the weed man be having that weed for a long motherfucking time. You think the pack just moving. That shit ain't moving. He just put it in a new bag. <laughs> you know you had that shit too long with <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when you gotta reset it, <laughs> cause you the bag. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh we man that had that weed for three months, nigga. That's the same weed. That shit ain't moving. <laughs> but that shit funny. As <laughs> bro, that's funny. Oh, that's funny, bro. That nigga that resect that shit two oh, times. Oh, that's funny, bro. What y'all smoking on? Man, here you go with this shit. You got to resect it and you got to add weed because the weed done flat. <laughs> now you think you losing money, but now you really giving them what they supposed to get. And some. Because you been trying to shout them the whole time. Yeah, hey, man. That's funny, Breaking bro. up beautifully. Boy, that's funny, bro. Man, you know the weed man be having that weed for a long ass time. Just bad salesman, bro. That's all that is, bro. You holding that weed all day. That's what I don't be understanding. How you hold weed all day, but you can watch people smoke weed all day? That mean they bought it for somebody, they just ain't buy it from your stupid ass. <laughs> like the truck been slow all day, but everybody got a blood. <laughs> truck slow, like, damn, who the hell you not about your weed for? <laughs> Nigga, beat me to the punch. No, you just gotta go find them. That's all. Get your ass up. Man, Boy, fuck all that. Stupid, them pole hustling ass nigga. The weed man always wanna hit. Man, they ain't doing that right. I ran out. All I got is a smoke sack. You, you shouldn't be smoking drugs if you sell them. <laughs> you sell weed. What's more important <laughs> to you, my nigga? Being high or getting this money? Where's your priority? So you tell him to sell the smoke sack? You shouldn't have no smoke sack. <laughs> Nigga got two ounces. One ounce of that is a smoke sack. <laughs> what the fuck? That I didn't ask. Correct. And plus, didn't nobody ask you that? Right. I didn't ask if what you had left. Right. I asked for what I came for. Nigga. I asked for a three five. Right. Whether you get that shit out your work bag <laughs> or your smoke bag, right. sack my shit up, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Put it in the bag, bitch. Fuck you talking about? Get it to me. What? Give a fuck what bag it came from. Weed <laughs> man be terrible friends. You think you friends with these niggas, but these ain't your friends. <laughs> Motherfucker, wait till you done gave them your last little fit it out to my smoke something. Nigga, I wish the fuck I would smoke this weed that I bought with you. <laughs> smoke some. <laughs> if that's what you wanted to do, why did you wait for me to make a purchase? He said, we could have smoked some first, then I would have seen how much I needed. <laughs> Thank you for buying weed. And match one. Smoke it with me. Yeah, well, you crazy as <laughs> fuck, bro. That's why you ain't gonna be out here all summer. Mm-mm. No, them young boys gonna run you off the block. That match up shit? Man, get the fuck away from me with that match up. Match Nigga, that's up. reserved for cousins. Match up? And people you went to school with. I don't even like when somebody say that shit to me. That shit really hurts me. But that shit right match there. Match up. Why do you wanna stand by me and smoke a blunt and be talking about bullshit? shit? Get the hell off. Bro, if you but if you got a job, that shit'll make like your coworkers, your real partners. That's exactly. the shit that that you be like, who really cool. That's that bun right there, no cap. Like, especially on a week where y'all don't get paid. Like, mm -hmm. Hey, man, go on, hey, match one with me. Shit. Let go. Bruh, <laughs> shit, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coworker. Lunch break. 
<laughs> Where we going, lunch break? Shit. I got the car. You got some spray? I got the spray. If you got four friends and y'all can't come up with three blunts, you just break that group up. <laughs> <laughs> At least three. Right. At least three, because get what? The other person bought all the blunts. Right. No matter what group of friends you in, it's always going to end up with that one friend in there doing better than everybody, but they stingy a little bit, and everybody right. else know it. <laughs> like the rest. <laughs> and you want to match a blunt? Hold up, let's see what your boy got. And then they got a whole sack of weed over there, man. You don't act like, that's your boy. Mm -hmm. You never kick that nigga out of the friend group, dude. But come, man, he always had weed. Y'all niggas that be wanting to smoke with him. And y'all always trying to smoke. He like, hold up, I don't want to smoke right now. See, that's the point. People who smoke weed got times when they want to smoke. I don't want to smoke right now. No, I don't want to smoke. God damn, why you so aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. That's the worst, know. though, when a nigga try to police your weed. Come on, bro. Roll up. Bro. Roll up. Hey, God damn. Hey, 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 hey. Nigga, throw you the blunt. That like some pussy shit. Roll up. Man, what, what? <laughs> hey, bro, stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Do what you got to do, my boy. <laughs> What? Put some weed in. <laughs> For who? Me or you? Got me fucked up. That's why I stopped smoking with people. That's why I stopped. I, I kept smoking. I just stopped being friends with everybody. No, I stopped smoking with people. I, bro, I, I, I had smoking. a homeboy so petty back in the day, bro. This nigga was disrespectful, too. Bro, <laughs> this nigga hit the blunt and put the shit out. I'm like, yeah, that's some kip that. Like, bro, <laughs> pass it. Pass it. I'm so glad I don't know niggas like that no more. Hit your blood and put it out. No, I'm like, our nigga gonna tell us how much we need to smoke. <laughs> put that out right quick. <laughs> and make, then it make you be petty like, nigga, when I, ever, when I ever did that with my blood? See, that's how nigga be, bro. That's why you gotta smoke your own, bro. My partner used to, if a nigga was like, hold, hold his shit too long, he'd go grab it out of his mouth. Paul. Ooh, Literally. That's that's, that's wild. I said, boy, you crazy. That's wild. I said, boy, you stupid. It gets to a certain... I'm only past... Like, I, well, even when I was, like, fucked up. Nigga, I'm not about to look past this blood a lot of times. When it get to a certain point and it's mine, mm -hmm. that's it. You got good one... You got one good rotation. And then the nigga who blunted in, he... We always count how many times a nigga hit the blunt. Absolutely. Even when we act like we ain't looking, we'll be right here, the blunt over there. He be like, boy, that boy hit third pull. That's crazy. Exactly. That's crazy. If he hit it one more, I have to tell him, pass that bit. Come on, my man. Come on, man. You tripping. I'm past that point in my life. I, you know why people even smoke blunts together? Because don't nobody want to roll their own. Nobody, like when you already, when you get to a certain high, you ain't really trying to roll. It just feel like it's going to take forever. But see, niggas don't be understanding. And please, niggas be want to smoke more. But you're not understanding. If it's three niggas, two blunts, you really not smoking two blunts. You may be still smoking one whole blunt out of the two or maybe a, a 75 Because out of the pool, nigga, you ain't smoking a whole blunt. And you ain't smoking by yourself. You may respect the rule. Puh, puh, uh. Nobody over here, like, pull, 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 pull. <laughs> Act like he's going to pass to you. Pull. <laughs> you, you done took six extra pull. His pulse and my pull. And when he go back around, the blunt ain't in. Now I know what you finna do with it. He took his pull, it back on me. Eh, eh. I respect the rule. Give it to you. Pull, pull. You know what it is? Pull. It's too much stress. <coughs> It's straight. Oh, boy, you like, you can't even get high, cause you steady watching the nigga like, come on, man, you head now. You like, it's his turn. Like, come on, man, that's some J shit, man. Nigga be in that little B and J. People going through <laughs> shit. I think motherfucker just missed everything from 2020. What you mean? All that non-contact shit. Now everybody just socially smoking. Oh, nigga was doing that before then. I think I it know, slowed it down. Nigga was really yeah, more changed saying. back then. 2020, that's when the world changed, bro. All this shit actually. But, but you had to be, you had to have, because in 2020, you didn't have, you was really out here Think about crazy. what that shit mean, bro. Like, if you smoked the blunt with somebody during the pandemic, it mean, like, nigga, I die for this. <laughs> <laughs> for the weed? 
I take this chance because I love you like family. Hmm. Give it back. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> we in this shit together. Right. <laughs> That that's, shit didn't work out. That's crazy. I hope that shit don't never happen again, bro. Well, I was just thinking that shit the other day. But I do want it to be like a lockdown for three weeks. I think we should all quarantine for three weeks a year, man. Just stay at the crib. Yeah, that should be like a, like a little like Mandatory. a little thing Americans do. Like, at least a month or two. Stay your ass in the house, man. A month or two. Just take Six shut this motherfucker down, bro. Six o'clock, everybody go home. I mean, you be in your yard. I ain't saying that you can't be outside, but you can't like me on the main street. Yeah, take your ass take home. Your ass. You need to be at the house. Mm -mm. If you be out and you get fucked with by the police, you shouldn't have been out. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. What you going up the street? Unless you're going to see somebody. You going to see somebody? Yeah, after about 9 o'clock, though, you should definitely be in the house. Be in the house. Chill. It's a shutdown. Shut the shit down. Shut the shit down. And tomorrow, ain't no outside, period. God ah, damn, They man. need to go back to that. That's capitalism. That's man. what I'm saying. Nothing. Straight communism. I can't go outside. That's communism. What if it's hot in the house? I you gotta go outside. Fuck. No, I'm Sometimes saying. Sometimes I feel better outside. Ain't no fucking off, though. Ain't no going to the mall. Ain't no posting up nowhere. You can go outside, but you ain't finna be outside. Uh, that, that's, that's what yeah, I said. I said no, Main Street. Shut all this shit down. Ain't no fast food. Ain't none of that. Just sit your ass down. Right. Ain't no wrong with that. But you just said, like, don't go outside. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, saying, like, some I'm people house like, think. in the world. And they gotta go outside. <laughs> so they get a little fresh air. No, nah, cause what was that? What was that gonna do? Take your ass. little breather, cause whoop. Take your ass in that fucking house. This is a hand-me-down couch. And clean it up. Look at this great granddaddy been on that motherfucker. Like <laughs> she ain't changed this motherfucker. Yeah, you know how many booties that been on this motherfucker? <laughs> this shit stink. This shit stink. <laughs> clean house, but a stinking ass couch. This shit stink, man. Gotta go outside. Ooh, what? My sister had a stinking ass couch. I used to hate sitting That's on that motherfucker. That's just nice, bro. No, nah, I mean, yeah, but I was talking about the couch. We had some couches in our house, couldn't nobody sit on them. I used to sit on the edge of that motherfucker. That shit was so stuck. I used to be like, bro, I don't even sit on them. Like, I'm talking about, I'm on it. It still stinks. I'm on the edge because I don't know how dirty it is if I sit on it. So I, I just sit on it. I don't know if I sit on it, the motherfucker, I'm like, man, what's in this bitch? But you ever been strength. over a hood bitch house and everything in there broke? I'm talking about everything mm. broke, nigga. Mm. The arm on the couch fucked up. The TV got a little spot on it. The entertainment system missing a chunk out that bitch. Let me tell you something. The mirror got a crack in it. The bathroom is dirty. If the doorknob is loose. The toilet seat is hanging this off. This is an abusive relationship. <laughs> if the doorknob is loose, this bitch been in an abusive relationship. That's a nigga they be like, open that door, bitch. <laughs> Open that motherfucking door. Don't trust no bitch with a loose door knob. None. Abusive relationship. Absolutely not. I'm telling you. I don't like to go over people's house who uh, use their back door a lot. <laughs> Why? Because I'm just black and you ain't, one of them doors ain't supposed to get used. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm saying? Like, it's the side like, door, man. Like, a nigga, like you go over a nigga house. It ain't just like you about to come to the front door and get let in. Right, Nigga be like, hey, right, man, right. come to the garage. We don't yeah, use that front door. Ain't you know nobody over there. We yeah, not yeah, yeah. open that back door. No, that's for one, nothing. Of, one of them doors. You look out the back door just to see. <laughs> yeah. I, like, you don't really go out that motherfucker. <laughs> that's crazy. No, nah, niggas don't really go out that back door. I don't like when you over somebody's house and they offer you something to drink and all they got is water, but they didn't offer you no water. Like, don't, don't make me believe you got options. What? If all you got is water, <laughs> ask me if I want some water. But don't be like, you want something to drink? What you got? Water. <laughs> well, bitch, offer me the water. <laughs> what a nigga stupid, bro. I don't go over people's house who got a call box. Why? Like, safe. if I got a call to your box and wait on you to answer that shit. That's safe. I'd rather that. I don't like that. Buzz a nigga in. Nah, because yeah. it's like, it, it's cool. It's better than that donut. At least I ain't got to worry about that donut. It's cool if we got a rapport already. But if I got it, if you know I'm on the way. Right. And I told you, hey, I'm about 45 minutes away. Right. So in about 45 minutes, you should be knowing that I'm about to call this box. But what if a crazy nigga got the girl I message? And he normally be breaking doorknobs. And he come over there like, 
Here, Carlos. And she like, I buzz you in. Oh, here go the dope knob, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's why she got a buzz in the <laughs> I don't, I don't go with bitches. That hey, no, no, man. So serious. I'm telling you. When that's I was, some scary shit. Like, when I was going, still going shit? over women's houses and shit, I made sure to take my big pistol. No big boy. Yeah, man. I'll take my 40 because yeah. I need all, don't get all the little shots. One. You got to get the big one. Yeah. Ain't nothing scarier than a motherfucker grabbing that donut. I don't give a fuck. You hear that shit rattling? You like, hold on. Hey, hey. Not you. The only one that stay here. He'll leave. What you mean he'll leave? <laughs> what you mean? Come on, man. See, man, God, he'll leave. So we gotta act like we not in here. <laughs> Just don't say nothing, bitch. I'm grown. <laughs> well, how long you think he'll be? <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Ladies shouldn't be inviting niggas over to their house if they know that they got niggas like that, bro. We fucked up the donut man outside. Mm hmm. We gotta start calling the abusive ass lane nigga the donut man. He don't never pull up back. He ain't gonna never though. know it, ladies. Just be on the phone. Girl, the donut man be tripping. Why it always be three of them niggas? The donut man. But yeah, like when he pull up, it always be some extra niggas with him. He's like, I got enough bullets for two of these niggas. Really got no bullet for all that. I know, but yeah, I, ain't gonna, gonna, I mean, it's three. And once you do the math, though, you be like, I ain't gonna really be able to shoot him as many times if I as I want to. No, nah, see, do what it is with the donut man. He the most <laughs> aggressive one. The other two is for the looks. Nine times out of ten, they gonna stay in the car. Mm -mm. Cause if once they find out you more aggressive than the donut man, they gonna they gonna be like, man, that nigga tripping anyway. I don't even know why I came over here. That's why I'm glad I'm forty. Cause all the women who be like, who used to mess with thug niggas, oh, most of them niggas dead now. For real? Yeah. Yeah, 40. We don't have to worry about no young nigga shit. If I meet a bitch and she like young niggas, I know she ain't for me. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, I'm glad I'm out there. That worry means about she this. still playing game. She still in the shit. She street. like that shit. She like to see if she still got it. Girl, that nigga 28, I got a pulled dog. Man, shut up. Shut No, you don't. He telling the same shit in the hood. I got that old bitch fucked up. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. y'all playing games with each other. I'm forty like, for yeah, real, bro. We ain't even gonna get into it. <laughs> Niggas who forty ain't finna get into it about no woman. How long you been fucking with a big dog? Man, I've been fucking with about eight summers, my nigga. Eight summers. She cool. She good for. Go on, fuck with her. Motherfucker count the summer. Ain't he a killer. Her, yeah, that's all they really. That's when they fuck with each other the most. Eight Summer, yeah. She cool. I mean, you gonna be fucking with her? If you if you fucking with her, I ain't fucking with her. But if you through fucking with her, I'm gonna keep fucking with the bitch. Right. That old school. All right, man. my nigga, do your thing, bro. Hey, man. Wish y'all the best on that, man. Facts. Facts. And nigga be wanting you to be happy. Hey, man, she a good girl now. Go on with that bullshit. <laughs> nigga get mad when you meet Trina. Why you do Teresa like that? Man, no, that girl ain't never want nothing, man. Don't, don't, that ain't what you do now. <laughs> that ain't the one to do that she now. People. I shouldn't have let you have her. I shouldn't have let you. I like the got to kick your ass about that. If a nigga like the got to kick your ass about like that, the got he was gonna do it. I like the got to, I like the got to almost kick your oh, ass. I think it's now. Like this right here. Hey, I'm, I'm subject to do something to you. I'm trying to tell you now. <laughs> Teresa, don't do her like that. She good people. Anybody good people, leave them folks alone, man. And we got to take care of our people, too. Especially if, if y'all, however you love, however you do what you do, we got to just take care of our people, man. We Don't be to. mistreating them, y'all, because at the end of the day, we all we got. We all we got. We all we got. That's real. You know? Yeah. Because we're some good people. She good people. You ain't supposed to do that, man. I saw her. I, what, what the fuck? She ain't never argue with me like that. <laughs> but see, I'm, now I'm telling you, since I'm getting older, bro, it's like, that shit's scary. Cause now it seems like older niggas is a different breed, bro. Yeah. Old nigga move in that same weekend, bro. Oh, no will. Y'all said y'all were done now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. I put all your stuff in the garage. <laughs> all, your, your PlayStation, everything is in there. <laughs> hey, nigga, politely help you get out of here. Come on, man. Hey, no now, cap. <laughs> now, what we're not finna do, we're not gonna go back and forth about this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You made your decision. Uh-huh. <laughs> he ready to die about that girl, you hear me? And we still going to the football game Saturday. Your, your son got a game. 
Uh-huh. We still going. Yeah. And they, we still going to sit together this A. Because <laughs> that's a good boy right there. That A. You that, raised that boy good. He ain't my son, but I love him like my son. I love him. I don't tell you he's my son, but I tell my friend that my son. That my son. <laughs> <laughs> when you ain't here, he's my son. <laughs> that's our son. <laughs> Ray J. Heard that nigga. He said, well, you here on telling me my son, but when I'm around my friends, I tell him he's my son. My friends know that's my son. I be with him more. I, I'm with his mama still. Well, that's funny, bro. This nigga is stupid. I'm See, that's, you, that's, that's the point that's of life. That's the shit we missing in the neighborhood or just in the, in the culture, period. If It's still there, but it's fading out because that was the real deal, that black power love shit that we had. Now they ain't just so much. Oh, nigga, you, hey, you can't get shot over that. They, man, them old Ooh. niggas is serious about them women, bro. That 38 revolver? Bro, nigga got 22? Man. No, a 32. If a nigga got a 32, he, he gonna kill you. He gonna kill you, and ain't nobody gonna hit a gunshot. But see, these niggas come from the area where a lot of them old niggas was bluffing, though, now. They'll just go to the door and have that motherfucker behind their back. Gone with that bullshit now, Tony. <laughs> Tony, go on with that bullshit. <laughs> can't sleep, Tony. <laughs> Tony, if you drunk, you on that, you on that bullshit, Tony. Yeah. Tony, you been drinking? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear your ass up if I yeah. come out there, Tony. Yeah. Baby, baby, get this, get uh -huh. this, get this, get the gun, get this, get, get the gun. That's it, ugly Tony, hair. Yeah, that motherfucker had it. Go, go back in your room. Get this uh -huh. right here. Get this right. I'm, I'm finna, uh -huh. go, I'm finna go out here and see about his motherfucker. Uh -huh. I tell you what, uh -huh. I told him last time he did that, that, that old monkey shit. Uh -huh. He out there on that old monkey shit. Yeah. <laughs> No cap. Now I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna tear his ass up. Bring it, bring it, bring him on. Then he That's come in there and wake the kids up. I ain't, I ain't, hey, I, I want to apologize to y'all. I ain't want y'all to have to see that. Right. Because I know you love your daddy. Right. And I know you love me too. Probably love me more because I'm still with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still with him. Oh, I probably love me a little more because I'm still with your mama. <laughs> He made his decision. He'll love y'all like I love y'all. Well, that's funny, bro. Them old school fight. And the crazy part, what, just, just think about it, though. You go over there, and your real daddy beat your stepdaddy up. And your stepdaddy still with your mama. Well, what, what, what I'm supposed to believe now? <laughs> so he got it. He, he got it. He got everything. But get what? Do what he wanted. I, I got her. And y'all, right. take your head to bed. <laughs> Tell your daddy that. <laughs> <laughs> Young nigga gonna shoot that bitch up, though. Old nigga, they gonna stay in there, argue about that one for Get 38 years. Take your head to bed. Tell your daddy that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your daddy that. Not, not tell him that. Since y'all wanna run back and tell every goddamn thing. Ooh, he's dead. <laughs> Who is it? Want to run back and tell on me. Go to on bed. Me. I tell your daddy. Your stepdaddy get drunk and let all his emotions out. He just sitting there talking to himself. Go motherfucking tell on me. <laughs> run back and tell every goddamn thing that go on in this house. Tell, tell him that to him. Oh Y'all lucky, y'all. Y'all lucky. Your mama said I can't, I can't start tearing y'all ass up too when you get out of line. But, but that's coming too. Man, I ain't seen that shit. Happen. I'm reliving all this. Shit, Bruh, as soon as that lady and that man break up, like the the older lady in the neighborhood, as soon as she break up, I'm talking about it. It feel like a whole nother weekend go past, and a whole nigga that moved right in and kept that shit going like. Where this nigga come from? He been red nigga named Benoit. He he straight out the country. A nigga named Benoit. That nigga show up cutting the grass. <laughs> Benoit coming. Benoit. Benoit, Benoit moved in, and he appreciative. Benoid in the bed on time. He what? You like? Oh, he cooking. You they like? They had a cookout to celebrate this nigga moving in. Put that outfit on that's on your bed. Why? You having a cookout. Your grandma and them coming over here. But Bernard, but Bernard ain't got no job. It's Bernard's birthday, but he cut grand. But he cut grand. <laughs> he ain't got a lawn service. But he cut grand on. <laughs> and she <laughs> hate him that he done all day. And he keeps some grass I, to cut. I, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. And they get out work at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that little Bernard, can he try? You know I'm just trying my best. No, you not. You was just waiting to move in. The kids know. Nigga move right in, bro. The kids know. 
Move right in. Well, that's crazy, bro. It's just old niggas just got all that shit packed up, just waiting on somebody to break up. I'll be right over there. That's funny. Everybody got that uncle that don't stay nowhere close to nobody. He done moved out there and just became a stepdaddy to that lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, where you at? You, you, you know I'm in Covington now. Mm -hmm. Fuck out there. <laughs> when you I'm out here, my boy's gay. <laughs> <laughs> what gay? You got a daughter. Oh, when you get to Covington, I've been in Covington by, 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 by three, by three, four, I've been back there about five years. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, Uncle just be moving random places, moving in with these old ass women. <laughs> I ain't know I ain't with Rosetta no more. I ain't uh -uh. with Rosetta. Well, yeah. I'm with Carolyn. I'm not, I mean, we out there in Covington, man. Y'all in Covington. Man, I ain't going nowhere, man. He said this shit every time he gets in the room. I ain't going nowhere, man. He ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Damn, well, <laughs> this the one. I've been with that girl about. About five, six years, man. I ain't going on. Well, too, I I'm, thought you were with Rosetta five, five, I, I was with years. Rosetta. Me and Rosetta. She, me and Rosetta were together about, about, about 14 years. About 14 about, years? About 14 years. I ain't going no goddamn way. I ain't going no damn way. I got old, man. I'm going to hell. <laughs> you fool, bro. Oh, everybody all talk that same shit. Nigga said, go to bed. Now tell your daddy that. Now tell him I said that. Take your hands in that bed. Boy. That's hilarious, bro. Me and Rosetta. My partner mama used to talk to a nigga named Bernard. But then Bernard, we ain't know what Bernard was doing, bro. Bernard ended up having the police. Bro, Bernard was in there like a regular nigga, bro. When them folk knocked on that door, we found out who the fuck Bernard was. Boy. Bernard turned into a criminal. Got his ass up out of there, boy. My auntie broke up with a nigga. He put food in the bed. The nigga took all the food out the refrigerator and opened it and put it in the bed. Oh, he was that petty? Oh, that nigga was hurt. <laughs> that nigga was hurt, bro. So he was hurt, so he was like, I'm gonna put the nigga the eggs put on the bed. bed. Put all the food on the bed, bro. Fruit, everything. Bitch won't be sleeping in here. I hope he didn't put the onions in that motherfucker. Everything, bro. He put the food, like, pulled the food in the bed. He was hurt. Oh, the real food, like out of pots. Yeah, bro. You know. You know, a motherfucker got a pot in the refrigerator. Oh, no, real shit. Oh, this motherfucker ain't ready to reheat this. We can't even like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, some cold pinto beans. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> you got to stir that motherfucker out. I'm going to turn this motherfucker right here. Ooh, they go sleep all on these pinto beans. Can you laugh? But that, that shit is a true story, nigga. What? She broke up with this nigga, he put food in the bed, man. I wonder if you put some cold pinto beans in a sock. Boy, if you would have sock. That to turn into a lock. Now keep in mind. Hit a nigga with a, with a bottom of some pinto beans. Nah. <laughs> Cat. The shit was so funny, man. Because my uncle got mad in the motherfucker, right? But look, he show up ready to fight this nigga, Cat. The nigga had... <laughs> Cat, the nigga had on... Some stonewashed jeans, bruh. The old school stonewashed jeans with a sweater on. <laughs> you, know the sweater, you know the sweater with the leather patches on it? They're like all stitched together with the elbows and shit. Oh, no. Man, that shit was so goddamn funny. Who got beat up? Because it's the middle of the summer, bruh. That nigga got on stonewashed jeans and a leather sweater. <laughs> 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 Bro, my goodness. <laughs> Uncle, why you got this sweater? What'd he say? The nigga said, this my ass kicking sweater. <laughs> and he believed it too. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Bro, he just put this shit on like he just known for whooping niggas and this shit. Oh shit! He knew what the nigga had. <laughs> oh my god! You get beat up in the sweater, dude. What? He like, wait, take the sweater off. Oh, get. He ain't, he ain't see the nigga that. He ain't see the nigga that take night, bro. Right? He ain't see the nigga that night. So a couple Ooh. weeks go by, he's just running to this nigga. He act like he been looking for him the whole time. No. The nigga say, 
The nigga said, man, what's up? What's going on? The nigga said, I came to kill you, bitch. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God, so the nigga, the nigga had a baseball bat, right? <laughs> Unk didn't even move. He said, what the fuck you better do with that? That bitch must be a candy bar. Because you finna eat that motherfucker. Oh, that nigga got, he got, he got sayings. Oh, this nigga ratty for this shit. Hey, man, if I wouldn't have seen this shit, I would have never thought that it was real. But this nigga was dead set. That's funny, oh, bro. bro. Man, oh, I'm telling niggas, you, bro. Boy. My uncle's so goddamn funny. It's, it's ridiculous, man. Did they end up getting a fight? Nah, bro. Bro, when my grandma died, this nigga wore all her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I bullshit you not, bro. When my grandma died, this nigga wore all her jeans and everything. And you know, women's jeans is big at the top, and then they get smaller at the bottom. So they fit in the waist, but them bitches was sitting right above his ankles. Man, this nigga hilarious, bruh. I told you, my nigga. One day, one night, my whole family sitting in the living room, right, bruh? I'm talking about everybody in there. We was, the whole family was in that bitch. Man, this nigga came out with a motherfucking blue jean, with a blue jean suit, right? Like a, a like a Levi's blue jean suit from like one of the ones from the '80s. Like you could tell that this shit had been put up for a long time. Like grandma yeah. had this shit in like the back of the closet, and it was like the woman's cut blue jean suit. Man, this nigga had the pants on. Now they fit the same way I said they fitted the waist, but they they kind of short in the leg. And nigga had the motherfucking jeans on, no drawers. <laughs> <laughs> no shirt, just the blue jeans and the jacket. And that nigga walk through the living room like this. Like, the same my family over there like that. That nigga walk through that motherfucker like this. Wanted everybody to see this shit. Bro, we fell out laughing when we seen this nigga. That nigga made it to the door. That motherfucker turned around. He was mad as fuck. He said, it's a 70s party, cocksucker. And walked out and slammed the door. <laughs> bro, that was the funniest shit. <laughs> this nigga was just full of shit, bro. Your uncle's still around? No, he died, bro. That's why I could tell all these stories, man. Man, this nigga was so fucked up. This the most fucked up nigga you'll meet, but he was so goddamn funny, bro. I'm do my ass. That nigga me. had came down. Oh, he was staying at my mama's house for a summer, right? Because he had came down from Cleveland. Man, this nigga used to talk shit about everything. This nigga was like, <laughs> y'all getting up early drinking all this goddamn coffee and shit. I don't drink no motherfucking coffee. They said after about two, three days, the nigga was like, hey, tell your mama get her big ass up now and make some coffee now. Nigga said be talking shit for no reason. Be talking shit. Just be talking shit, bro. That's hilarious. That nigga bro. was crazy as fuck. Boy, that was My fun. brother took a picture of my uncle's sleep one time <laughs> and put that bitch on the computer background. <laughs> He didn't even know who it was. He's like, God damn, who is that ugly motherfucker right there? <laughs> God damn it, that's me. Fuck all y'all. Fuck everybody. <laughs> oh, Country my story cousin be the like my uh, like you know how you had them old ass cousins be like your mama, like second, third cousin, them, them older older lady cousins. She walked past my uncle one day. She said, what happened to you? You used to be such a handsome man. He said, bitch, you act like ain't no mirrors in your motherfucking house. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I miss that nigga, bro. That was the craziest shit. I can't believe we've been in here this long. And we here. <clears throat> huh? Y'all yeah, wanted that shit anyway. That, shit. that bitch ass nigga, man. That boy love them turkey wings. That boy love them goddamn turkey wings. <laughs> oh, that shit funny, bro. Oh, my goodness. Y'all nigga done the fuck, bro. Man, we ain't had so many stories. We need stories. that shit, bro. We need that shit. Man, if y'all seen Uncle Stone, you wouldn't believe this nigga, bro. You from Mississippi, too? Hell yeah. <laughs> But he lived in Cleveland, bro. This nigga was crazy, bro. You got to meet my other uncle still living in Cleveland. He the last one left. 
Uncle Lil Man, bro, this nigga is so goddamn funny. Oh, my uncle was funny as hell, bro. But Uncle Lil Man, this nigga Googled my net worth. You know how Google had them fake celebrity net worth. Mm -hmm. Bro, that nigga Googled that shit. Soon as I see him, he ain't about five feet tall. That nigga ran up on me and said, Motherfucker, you got nine million dollars and ain't give me shit? <laughs> 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 God damn. Yeah. Sound this, like he had impression. Man, this nigga a pimp, though, bro. This nigga used to braid his own hair. Bro, this nigga talk so much shit, he be like, yeah, that fucking bitch. Next time I see, I'm going to kick that bitch ass all up and down, motherfucker. Bro. That nigga. I'm about to say, bro, the old people were really bitch. That was the best experience. Yep. Bitch. I'm glad I ain't hang around no kids and had to figure their life. I mean, I hung around with kids. I made dumb decisions with kids. Put it like that. But y'all niggas ain't raised me. I was raised by some. But I was raised films. by all old folks, bro. I used to be with my great grandma all the time. My great grandma, bro. Damn. My great grandma. I used to love my grandma, man. I mean, I still do. I'm just saying. But bro, my great grandma, she turned. Um, my baby. We was trying to figure out how old she really was because we kept every year we go to her birthday party. It feel like she was turning the same age every year. She every turned year. 87 like four times. But the crazy part is every time we try to go back and look for the pictures, we could never find them. Yeah. Man. She wasn't throwing them away, was she? I don't know what the fuck great grandma was up to, man. So that was your grandma mama? Yeah. On which side, dad and mama? On my mama mama. Ooh, that's a lie. Hell yeah. But your grandma was still living too at that time. Absolutely. Time. That's fire. Boy, my grandma, she, nah, she was funny as fuck too, bro. Remember one day we was riding home and we ran over a snake. My grandma just jumped up and balled up in the goddamn seat. Like, ah! like grandma, you gonna kill every fucking body. <laughs> the snake outside the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the country, dirt road, bro. Wood behind our house. And Down we used to be block. Out there uh, in the motherfucking I'm talking about out there in the I'm wood. Nigga deep. don't even know, but that shit used to be fun. I'm talking about 20 minutes deep. Deep, man. Deep. Nigga be out there with about 28 cousins in a... Thug In a 12-foot ditch. <laughs> and to be honest, we were doing some dangerous Nigga, shit. Nigga, we were doing some dangerous ooh, shit. Ooh, ooh, you true. know how many motherfuckers true. lost their eye from throwing dirt at each other? Motherfucker, whole eye gone. Yeah. Throwing them hard-ass dirt clots at each other. I almost, I almost knocked my partner eye <laughs> I threw a rock and that shit hit his ass right here. Ooh, I saw that shit. I threw that motherfucker. Cause he threw a rock at me. I was like, oh, okay. And I just run with that bitch. Damn. But that bitch looked up. too perfect. I was like, ooh, and I was like, Chris! That nigga looked up. <laughs> nigga! I was like, ooh. That shit happened to me. Shit. I hit in the eye with a pine cone. Pine cone. That was them bitches hurt too, though. That was one of the most painful shit I ever had. I'm talking about it, one of them big ass pine cones. The and then boy. like the chances of this shit happening was so fucking unreal. My cousin's standing all the way at the top of the hill, like in front of his house. He picked up a pine cone and threw that bitch. I'm at the bottom of the hill, at the basketball court. And if, like from the time he threw that bitch, he said my name, he said, Carlo. I turned around that bitch and boom. Nigga, I thought my fucking eye was done. I hated that nigga for years after that shit. For real? Oh, nigga, every chance I got, I got my get back. Every, Every chance. chance I got, nigga. What you doing in the car? Nigga, one time, my, him and my neighbor got into it, so my neighbor was just holding that nigga out. Like, he like, get your leg back low. I hit that nigga about a 52 piece. Damn. <laughs> like on the cartoon, just random shit just started falling. <laughs> I was hitting this nigga with everything. That's your cousin, man. I ain't give a fuck. <laughs> what your neighbor had to do with it? They was, they was all about the same age. We always doing shit like that, fighting Nigga just grabbed his ass like, get his ass low. Pop, 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 pop. This your family. Get your cousin low. <laughs> Nigga, we, I am my brother's keeper. <laughs> we stayed into it. Doing some crazy shit. But that way ain't do nothing but make us strong. It's I thought hell. my little nephew was going to be crazy. I knew that boy was crazy, but He'd be one of them, like, get angry motherfucker, but don't do shit like, Ugh. Ugh. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with you? Nigga like trains and shit growing uh -huh. up. Like, Remote control cars and trains. I was like, but you weird as fuck. They were like trains. Don't nobody over here like no fucking train. Don't nobody want to be no conductor, nigga. That nigga grew up and being a fucking conductor. For real? No cap for the army. Getting stupid shit. I was like, you still lame as fuck. 
<laughs> Would you give your money though? Pop your shit. Got to. Family. We all got Boy. that one crazy ass cousin that end up doing good as fuck. Yeah, he did good, man. He did what he supposed to do. I'm glad. That motherfucker, that used to be a goddamn. You no, know, temper tantrums. You know how some, some kid had like temper tantrums and then that shit be coming from like weird situations. Like he's be on the one that bug up on their mama and shit. Like, you know, ain't no <clears> child <throat> bugging up on their mama ever. Where we from? Your mama, what? What? She'll fuck around a lot and get that pistol, nigga. You tripping. You'll get jumped. You'll get jumped on, man. Jump for saying, you, acting like you want to do something to your mom. Man, you going to get beat up. Bruh, my little cousin, my little cousin Carol, mm -hmm. I don't think nobody could beat up her. For real? Bruh, chick, man. Anybody fuck with me, I go get her. Shout the truth. The truth. Whatever. She, she hen. Hard. Like a nigga. <laughs> Some people just got semen in their fingers, man. Some people just naturally born to beat people's ass. Facts. Like they just have a rhythm to beating the shit out of people that's just unmatched. And some people are naturally just known to take an ass whip. Right. You know, you got some nigga that just won't learn their lesson, but he... They'll yeah. fight, though. They'll fight, though. They'll fight Won't like win a like a mother. Won't but win. It's, it's not even about the win to them. It's, it's the point it's that the point they'll fight you. That ass. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> Fuck you. As soon as he get hit. Nigga, he only swing back. <laughs> that ain't do nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Go on with that bullshit. I'm still here, baby. You like, that don't go together. Like, you're the swing, my boy. What? I grew up around some crazy motherfucker, boy. Man, I'm telling you this, and I'm from a small town, so anything that happened, everybody, everybody know about knows. this shit. <laughs> it's like daily news, bro. Man, that shit you crazy. Heard? You know, Carlo them jumped on the cut. <laughs> <laughs> Craig helped them. No, they ain't gonna say no shit like that. Everybody who see you gonna be like, man, why y'all do you that? Do that like that? <laughs> <laughs> we already know the scoop. Why you do your boy like that? Man. Well, crazy. I, I see you holding Yeah. Okay, then. Y'all niggas. Man, we used to on, stay bro. in for some shit like that, man. Don't let you get your ass whooped. Niggas like, you straight? Yeah. It's a <laughs> what you mean, I'm straight? It took me How a long. It took me a long time to let that pine cone shit go, boy. Mm. I, was on, I was bloodthirsty. I needed something to happen. I was plotting my revenge. Did you finally get it out the way? I got it out the way. Got it out the way. After enough of them times, I just like I right, fuck it. I fuck think, it. I think I'm. Think you can see, nigga. You act like you were blind or some shit. Nigga, you, I asked you. you thought it was. You act like it was intentional. Man, I swear, sometimes my ass still be fucked up. It, it couldn't have been intentional because you right. couldn't have planned it. Right, right. That's but what I'm that, saying. But in, in hindsight, right, but right, man, right. He couldn't. He, his, he wasn't that fucking good. Right, right. He right. But good. I'm saying you act like it was intentional. It was intentional. So he you, threw that bitch trying to hit me, but right. he didn't think he was gonna hit me in the eye. Because mm. I turned around. That shit fucked me up. Man, I crazy Papa, I threw a big rock too. That shit had some weight on it. So when I slung it, that bitch in the air just picked it up. And it was just like, ooh. That nigga turned around like, Chris, that motherfucker, exactly what you said, that motherfucker, I get, I saw the blood. When he was holding it, I see the blood coming down Damn. from up under his hand. I'm like, fuck. I, I done knocked this nigga eyes, man. That shit was crazy. <laughs> you can see, though. Mm, 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 mm. Well. Mischievous ass kids. Bro, they used to get into some shit, boy. We used to do stupid. Just be bored, just figuring out shit to do. Man, we used to go in abandoned houses, man. That, that's the got porn most on up under the table. Crazy shit I ever did, bro. Nigga tried to silence that shit. Nigga said, nah, nigga, we just heard that shit. Y'all ain't never do that shit. <laughs> yeah, like go inside <laughs> abandoned houses and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, we been there. That, that was some of the scariest shit I think I'd have ever did in my life. One time we was about to go into this abandoned house, nigga, and my nigga fell straight through the porch. I'm talking about. Chest deep. No. Fell straight down that bitch. Ain't nobody stay in that bitch in years. Man, the, man, it looked like that bitch ain't even been, like, entered in probably 50, 60 years. Look at the pictures were still on the wall and all this shit. It's just like... But see, shit like that excited <clears throat> us as kids, bro, just to explore. Like, way the fuck off in the woods. A whole ass house. Right. The glass ain't broke, nothing. And you can just tell ain't nobody been in this bitch for, like, 50 years. 
We were like, man, this shit crazy. Oh, y'all ain't doing no just reliving. Man, you trying to figure out what was going on. Up in that shit. What thing they were doing? We stayed going to somebody's shit, though, back then, though. If, if I ain't, it was empty, yeah, but it was just like, oh, I ain't never been in nobody's house that lived there. Just abandoned. Oh, no, 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 no. Just abandoned. That's what I'm saying. Old ass country ass properties and shit. Shit that was about to be towed down anyway. Nigga, we had to pick him up. That nigga up that arms, nigga. We had That's to pick Mississippi that old town rock, but ain't no telling. The nigga what fell the all the way through be? the porch, man. I mean, that would have been rained on for a year and then. It was at the back porch. Oh, yeah. That patio? Nobody patio back then would put up properly. Nobody. Your grandma patio? Man, that shit been leaning. Y'all been sitting like this. Every barbecue y'all like this on the patio. <laughs> I miss that shit, though. You go over to somebody's house in Mississippi, they have like a front porch. Mm -hmm. And then that shit, you like, it just be like some home-built shit. Mm -hmm. They be fucked up. And then they got about 12 dogs under that bitch. Soon as you knock on the door, the whole porch start goddamn shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hurry up now. Open the goddamn door for the dog. <laughs> Hold on. Here we come. <laughs> Fuck is y'all at? This house ain't that goddamn big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Mississippi, like, a lot of them older houses, they don't it. be, like, big, but they be wide right. as fuck, like. The house is built this way. Right, it built long. It ain't built yeah, up. It, 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 ain't, it ain't no Nigga don't know there. about that. Yeah, it's it long here. <laughs> but that bitch, this, it been long. Like a church. You said keep going up steps like that. That motherfucker keep. How long that motherfucker is? Ain't no step. Man. It's just once you in that bitch, you in that bitch. It's five bedrooms over there. It's four over there. And then it's a back bedroom where great grandma stay at. Don't nobody go back there. Don't nobody go back there with great, great grandma. Great grandma come out that room at, 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 once a week, probably. <laughs> grandma, how you been? Oh, I'm all right back there. <laughs> Bring me some of them peaches back in here. And them pecans. <laughs> you, you ate them pecans. You ate them pecans. Everybody back there loves a pecan. I think pecan was a civil rights snack. You ever be around like, you ever be around your grandma and then they tell you some old racist shit, so racist you can't even believe it? It would be with them, Cat, and they tell you some shit. You can't even believe this shit. You know, back, back in them days, they just let black people have dreams. <laughs> what she say? When you go to bed, you're just supposed to stay asleep and don't, none of that. Black <laughs> folks weren't allowed to have no dreams back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, we could go up there and you get a hamburger or something, but they wouldn't give us no ketchup, no mustard, or none of that. Nah, and eat it plain. It just meat and bread, that's all. They didn't give us no fixings, you know, back in them days. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have no socks or nothing like that. We just shoes and feet. Wasn't nothing, wasn't no socks and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't allowed to get no toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> they just have all. It be like grandma for real. Everybody so appreciative. Come on, you lie. Call me a lie again and watch me get on your ass. <laughs> Ain't no liars in this house. Cause I remember when Daddy bought a car, they wouldn't sell him no tires up there. They wouldn't. <laughs> they just couldn't believe a. He had to go all the way to North Carolina to get some tires for that car. <laughs> had a car, no tires. <laughs> Now, you know, it was against the law back then for black people to put uh, jelly on their peanut butter. They, they didn't allow that <laughs> back in them days. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing allowed back then. You couldn't even blink. You couldn't do shit back in them days. You know, back, back in them days, uh, when, when women and stuff got pregnant like that, they, they wouldn't give you, you wasn't supposed to take no medicine or nothing like that. You just supposed to be pregnant. If you made it, you made it. If you didn't, you you know. <laughs> Back in them days. Back in them days. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's stupid as fuck, bro. Man, I miss talking to my great grandma and them. They had all the stories, bro. Oh, forgot all the stories, bro. That's why I really go back down there. I just go back down there and just sit on the porch sometimes, just chill, just let the wind blow. Man, I would. You, feel you know country. what I would give just to go bullshit with the family again, bro. I it's 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 okay, okay. People that's in your family, 
Who would you want to have a conversation with right now? That guy I could bring back? Yeah. Oh, my grandma. Most definitely. Bro, because she'll keep it so real. Right. Well, what the fuck took you so goddamn long? Hell. Mm-hmm. Hopping down there in hell. <laughs> hey, man, man, man. <laughs> oh, they didn't tell you. I, hell, I just got to heaven about two, two, three years ago. Yeah, God made me do 15 years in hell. Fuck. I cussed this motherfucking ass out too. It's hot down there. Yeah, I don't like. I, I don't like being hot. <laughs> I cuss his motherfucking ass out too. Fuck it. <laughs> Let me in or don't, bitch. Whatever. I, Cause she'll keep it so real. Boy, you think all this good shit just been happening to you by your damn self? You was, you got me fucked up. I I had to pull a few strings and sell a little pussy for you to make. <laughs> That's the type of shit my grandma used to say. Ask anybody. So I had to pull a few strings. I had to get a little, little pussy. I... <laughs> <laughs> bro, you think I'm crazy. You would not make it around my family, bro. The middle side of my family, these people say the most off-the-wall shit, bro. <laughs> they say the most off-the-wall shit, bro. You just wouldn't believe that shit. My, my daddy side would. I got an auntie. She got a whole lot of moles on her face. Oh. Whole lot of moles. And my grandma was like, one day my grandma was like, God damn, she got a lot of moles. It looked like God just stuck his hand in a bowl of moles and said, huh, here go use some moles. <laughs> <laughs> that was hurtful. <laughs> that was huh, here go use some moles. <laughs> hey, man. My auntie was doing this lady hair, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my auntie was doing this lady hair, and my mama came in. She was like, oh, your hair look good. All you got to do is, is just get you some curls right here. Move the, and then cover some of this up. Man, I fucking fell on the floor. Talk cover some of this up. Nigga talking about her face. <laughs> That's fucked bro, up. Bro, I fell on the fucking floor laughing at that shit, bro. I'm telling you, my family is all the way fucked up. My daddy said I got Christians and alcoholics. One time, my stepdaddy had, was uh, praying, right? We about to eat at the cookout. My uncle was drunk in the motherfucker, right? He been drinking all day, waiting to eat. So look, my stepdaddy praying so long. <laughs> my uncle just, he drunk, right? He's like, man, hey, man, shit, goddamn, it's hot. <laughs> Ready to eat, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, my family is off the fucking chain. They need a movie about this shit, bro. Funny. Tell my uncle got drunk and fell asleep on the roof, nigga. On the roof, in the middle of the summer, bro. On the roof? On the roof, bro. On the top of the fucking house. That's probably one of the funniest videos we ever recorded on the camcorder, nigga. And y'all rewatch this shit. Uh, every time somebody get around, hey man, put the tape on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Old family watching this shit, man. <laughs> what y'all call it? Oh, Uncle Body. Uncle Body this was drunk on the roof. Boy, that nigga right there. Uncle Body get drunk, gives a talk so much shit, man. That nigga talked for 12 hours straight on a trip to Florida, man. Everybody kept putting him out the car. That nigga ain't never go to sleep. Like, you know, you stop and get some gay. Like, hey, man, he can't ride with us, no guy. Right, right, right. My fuck been talking for four hours. <laughs> but he just, he just drinking and talking shit. So, so while you driving, he sitting right next to you. Hey, you straight. Right. You got to hold it. Hold it in the motherfucking road. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come yeah. on. We're yeah. almost there. Right. Hey, hey. Yeah. Keep driving this motherfucker. Yeah. Because <laughs> look, you got to snatch it. Right. <laughs> Something happened to the car. Boom, 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 boom. Snatch it back. Right, right. we almost there. Yeah. Hey, home team. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. You see it? It is what it is. Ah. 
where we going? Right. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> the whole trip. The whole trip. 12 hours, man. This nigga is, he the wildest one. Bro, that nigga stupid. Uncle Body. Uncle Body. You gotta go to Mississippi and shoot this shit. Bro, you gotta, if I take you to Mississippi, you need to just be there for a couple days, cause they'll be so shocked just to see you. I'm gonna have my overalls and my cowboy boots. It ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. Mississippi, bro, you'll fuck around and see see some shit, you be like, bro, I didn't even know they still made that shit. Nigga be fresh as hell with some Nietzsche on. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck, fuck you did that? Nigga, Mississippi don't give a fuck, bro. This shit new. Right. This shit new, though. New, bro. A lot of, you ain't gonna really even see no whole bunch of shit like that, though, for real. It ain't no whole bunch of flashy shit. Like, nigga, ain't nowhere to buy that shit at. Mm. Ain't no fucking sex or no shit like that. Where you gonna go buy some Gucci at? A Louis. Out of state. You gotta go to Memphis or some shit. Mm. So it ain't none of that type of shit. Nigga. Damn, like y'all forced to just. Like if you stay not not stay conditioned, y'all forced to stay traditional, bro. Now right. Look at the so you might go and see world. a nigga still just have a fresh ass black tea. You know what I'm saying? Some clean low, cut, a clean cut, and some black force. And some black force. If that's a black Nike flip. Yeah, exactly. Bro. Nigga ain't getting no fuck about right. that, bro. Right. Young nigga be rich as hell though. Right. From from some real grown man at work. This nigga ain't did shit since high school, but poke concrete. Yeah. Now that nigga done took over to hit daddy bitch. Old, Miss, yeah, old exactly. Mississippi. He My doing concrete like for that. old Mississippi. I got a cousin who like that, bro. He, uh, his daddy had a big ass concrete business. He died and left it to him. He the youngest brother. He run the whole shit. Shit, I, I, you know, I believe you, nigga. I call, you told me, you said, I, I said, I need my tree cut. Bro, my little cousin. He said, cousin, man, my I, cousin my cut little... tree. Bro. I said, he said, they call him. Tie me down. That nigga came and, and cut my, some trees, man. My little man. cousin. This nigga like 22, 21, 22 years old. Nigga running the whole fucking... This nigga came and cut some trees, boy. One thing about it, if I need any construction... Cut, ask me I'm you going to Mississippi. I do. I don't worry about it. He had number one on my list. If I need any tree cut, cut. I call a nigga like, oh, you cut, cut. Man. Need some tree cut, cut. Get no Mississippi, boy. I got a text in my phone right now. I'll show you where the nigga said. Ask DC if we need us to come back. Well, well, I appreciate Cub, but you, you got to make sure. And then Cub like when you do good business, bro. You feel me? He appreciate that. You put them up, make sure they fed, make sure they scrape. He said, you know what? I like when you do business because you put me up. You made sure I was good. You sent my money on time. So I cut down some extra trees for you. Nigga cut down some extra trees. You hear me? Yeah, he said, don't forget to check around and see if you need any work done around there. My guy's been worrying about it. They man, what? Back. I love Cub, man. He put them things. Man, then he set the tree correctly. Like, it ain't no nigga bending, man. When you find somebody black that actually do good bending, bro, you got to appreciate them. Then cut no yeah. corner. I ain't cut. Now corner. Now nigga corner. Now, and get where he went straight back to when the job was done. Mississippi. Boy, boy went right back. He said, look, I'm about to go up there and roll right quick. Be about three hours. I appreciate you. Man, you a little... <laughs> you All a day. ball down there, man. <laughs> With well, Mississippi? Yeah. Oh, I love Mississippi. Cause it, well, like, my town ain't like... It ain't the, the backwoods there and shit, though, bro. It's, it, but it ain't big. Right, right. It's small enough where you don't even need a cell phone, nigga. You don't even need a phone. You gonna see everybody that you're trying to catch up with, right. or you just pull up on them. They ain't gonna be with one or two places. They're gonna be here, here or there. Exactly. Right. That's real. I'm talking about when you're sitting in traffic, bro, and you could be at the light and look up in your rearview mirror and look back three cars and be like, look at Cub, man. What's up, Cub? <laughs> that tight. Go around. Go around. Go around. Yeah, Cub. Fuck with. But I'm talking about you could literally just spot. You know. Who car it is, where they going, all this shit. It ain't no, it, anything that look like it's out of the norm. And just, that's we what know. I'm saying, nigga. You can ride by the motherfucking, ride by Walmart, and be like, just ride on the highway and look in the parking lot. Like, yeah, my cousin ain't work. He was, nigga, he parked right there. Right. He, there he go right there. He work at the top spot. Right. This it's, nigga outside, you blow horn. It, it's just me, me. crazy, bro. Ride by that. Me, me. Go, see you, fool. Every restaurant that you pull up at, these are people you know, went to school with, live down the street from. I'm talking about from Publix to CVS to Walgreens. Man. You know everybody. You literally know everybody. Right. And even when you go to McDonald's now, you were like, man, that my partner's little sister, bro. Ain't nobody finna talk to her crazy like that. Right. That's my, that my dog, Auntie, who the manager. Then you know what I'm saying? 
It's just, it's just a different place, man. And, you know, you, and then, like, being in the city like this, and you would think, like, like, think of just, like, Forest Park, right? Right. This would be like Oxford. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's just, this a whole, this a, like, it's this a whole, a whole town. city. Yeah. Whole, but that's how it is. It's just the city make it seem like everything is together. But now nah, we really small cities connected to each other and little towns and shit. Right. It's just Atlanta feels big. But no, Morrow is a city. Riverdale is a city. And if we was to treat it like it was really a city and be like, all right, well, let me know everybody that's in Riverdale. But see, that's what Atlanta, like, a hundred different little cities. I was just, it's every fucking where, from Even. Douglasville to Riverdale to Morrow to motherfucking Ackworth, Marietta. It's Sandy Spring. And but, then it seemed like every couple years, they'll throw another little city and they're like, but see, it's Atlanta. this was Atlanta last year. Atlanta is Atlanta. It's just we adopted everybody. Yeah. If you put it like, if you to be where, if you be real, Atlanta is really only so small. We just so connected that everything, because if you think about it, right, how shit be in the country, right, you could tell where you're getting off at because of the exit. Right. Uh, two exits down, da -da 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 -da, even though y'all may share the same county. Right. You only consider concerned about the exit. When you get off the exit, you in the next town, even though we may share the same county. You still the next town over. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Here it's like two exits down, you still at Lama. But see, my shit, our shit like this is like, you can, like say for instance, Atlanta and Fulton County. Right. You either live in Atlanta or Fulton County. You get what I'm saying? But it's still the same shit. It's just, right. you know where the county is, that's the country. But if you go to the city of Oxford, it's, all this shit is Oxford. It's, right. Yeah, hey, we live in the county. And but see, in the country part, y'all claims the county more over the city. Right. You see what I'm saying? See, but in, up in the city, we only claim the city, but if we want to get technical, we be like, all right, what county you in? Because you still be in Atlanta in DeKalb, but it's only a little part of Atlanta. The whole Decatur is DeKalb. Man. But Atlanta cut off a <clears throat> little bit in DeKalb. But I wouldn't trade that shit for the world, though. Now that, like, I get to see, get to see compare the that shit. It, it'll just, you can never capture that feeling of just, like, Going to a football game or some shit, and everybody, you know everybody there? Right. Everybody? Everybody. I'm talking about, you know everybody in that bitch, from the, from the lady selling the hot dogs <laughs> and tearing the tickets, to the nigga playing the saxophone over here, to the niggas on the field, bro. It's just like, that shit was just magical, bro. Especially when we had, like, like our school, like Oxford versus Lafayette, like the city versus the county. Man, that was the best shit in the world. It was fucking crazy. You just have a ball out there. But then it's like, you move to the city, and then you're like, don't none of these motherfucking people know each other. You just meet different motherfuckers all day, every day, until you start seeing, you know what I'm saying, that it's, it, that's just how it is. You can literally just go and meet motherfuckers forever around this bitch. You'll never know them, though. That's it, bro. All right, man, we got to get the fuck out of here. We got shit to do. Oh, my God, that's...